Schools across the country are looking for the best ways to stop the spread of COVID-19 on their campuses. Now, Oakland University is offering something called a bio button to monitor the health of students, staff, and faculty. Paula Totman joins us now live to show us what a bio button is and how it works. Hey, Paula. So here it is, and it's about the size of a very, very large button. It, it may be small, but it does hold big hopes for Oakland University. They did start kind of hinting that they wanted this to be mandatory, but they met with some resistance, and now they're heavily encouraging all of the student body and faculty to test it out. What would George Orwell say if he saw students at Oakland University wearing the bio button? It is something Ethan struggled with when the university offered him an opportunity to participate in testing out technology that could help stop community spread of COVID-19 as an early alert system. The original idea of having it be mandatory for uh, certain students or for all students, um, that was a big ethical concern. The bio button is a small device that sticks to your chest with sticky tabs. It measures certain vitals through an app on a smartphone and can alert you and the health clinic of important changes in those vitals, like a spike in temperature or heart rate. You can be tracking heart rate and temperature and skin temperature um, on a regular basis you could probably identify people getting infections of any kind, the flu, a cold. The early warning device can serve to alert, take students and faculty out of circulation while they wait to get final determination from an actual test, without them circulating unknowingly before they realize they may even need a test. It might have that capability of, of indicating some kind of infectious process going on in your body before uh, a PCR test can. Because right now, if you get exposed to somebody, uh, with COVID and go get tested that day, you're going to be negative. And if the button can catch that a couple of days before uh, PCR tests can catch it, then you can take yourself out of circulation. And because the information goes to you and only the clinic you've registered with for those privacy issues, those participating have already worked through them. I'm just happy that I have something that uh, is a bit more sensitive to changes in my life compared to the, the regular screening with just those those three questions. Do you have a fever? Do you have a cough? Have you been exposed? I definitely think that like young people in general, like they kind of struggle with taking like COVID-19 as seriously as like older generations because it doesn't affect them as much as it would affect like older people and that sort of thing. So I think that hopefully it'll like sort of like create like a mindful environment where like students are more uh, adept to like checking their symptoms and that sort of thing. So the buttons are now on campus. They are being tested. The real hope is that students testing them will find that they're not socially invasive at all. And indeed, they do help stop this campus spread that is such a huge concern. And then, of course, they will tell their friends, will tell their friends, and they will tell their friends, and that these will be in wide use by next semester, Karen. A couple questions for you, Paula. How long does each bio button last, and is there a cost, or is the university handing these out? Great questions. They are free, 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 free. And the university has ordered them for pretty much everybody who's willing to test them. And they last as long as they stay on. They're waterproof, so you can even shower with them. Mm. And if they do fall off, you're given extra stickies so you can stick them right back on and keep measuring. Very interesting. All right, Paula, we appreciate it.